Some local high school students are getting a bit more than they expected out of a recent assignment. As Local 12's Josh Knight shows us, they were forced to get out into the community and say some things to people that they might not normally get to say. Steve Groh is an art teacher at Oak Hills. He's done a Heroes Project for years, but this year had an extra challenge. They have to pick a value and find two everyday heroes to photograph with that value. One they knew personally, but the other had to be from the community. As teenagers, you're, they're very nervous. Um, it's very awkward. It's awkward for adults to come up and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm really inspired by you. You've, you've meant a lot to me. And I said, this is going to give you the perfect excuse to do that. Allie Stewart is a sophomore. She chose compassion and chose her French teacher, Megan Sullivan. She's always been there for me. Like, I could go and talk to her for anything. And I know if I'd have a bad day or something, I could go and talk to her about it, and she wouldn't get mad or judge or anything. I was shocked, and I said, are you sure? Are you sure you want it to be me? And she said, ah, yeah, absolutely. You're my hero. I see you every day, and I think you, you know, bring a lot to my life. I was so shocked. It was so, you know, it's humbling to have kids think that about you. Allie also photographed firefighters. They are heroes. They show up to work every day and they help people every day. They're always compassionate and they always care about the people that they're trying to help. Sullivan and other teachers, coaches, and family members were really touched. Well, I definitely don't go around all day thinking that I'm a hero, but hopefully I start my day thinking I can help kids every day and whatever they happen to need. Allie says her big takeaway from this project won't really be about shooting, developing, and printing photos. Giving thanks to them, and not just around holidays, but all year round. It's definitely a community where it's strong, and I think that'd make it even stronger. Josh Knight, Local 12 News. What a neat idea, and some great photos there. Steve Gross says he's actually seen people crying in the hallway, looking at the pictures, and reading what the students wrote about their heroes. A nice reminder that a little gratitude can go a long way.